and wrapping up on a much lighter note. And in Thailand, through the collaboration between the government and private enterprises and international organization, the Lopuri Solar Farm, currently under construction, serves as a good example to the public and private partnership or PPP approach in renewable energy development. Our reporter Panu Wong Chaum visits this solar farm that the Asian Development Bank has lended up to 70 million US dollars for its construction. More in this report. Thailand, a country which currently powers itself through various kinds of fossil fuel sources like coal and lignite, has been pursuing the development of renewable and clean energy through a private-public partnership approach whereby government provide policy incentive and subsidies to draw in investment from businesses. In the province of Lopburi, 150 kilometers northeast of Bangkok, a solar plant with a capacity of 73 megawatts, which can generate electricity for around 50,000 households, is currently being developed by Thailand's natural energy development company, financed by the Asian Development Bank and other commercial banks in the kingdom. This solar farm is about the size of 250 football fields put together, and the project is considered as one of the largest and the most advanced solar photovoltaic in the world and is due to be completed in 2012. These solar panels, also known as thin films, generate electrical power by converting solar radiation into direct current electricity using semiconductor. In recent years, the demand for this type of power generator has grown quite significantly around the world and thus has helped advance the technological development of these cells. Although solar energy is currently a booming industry in many places around the world and it has a very high potential in terms of being a very reliable renewable energy sources, it's still very expensive to make and thus making it supplementary to other forms of order generation of energy such as coal and fossil fuel. What kept plants like this competitive compared to other forms of power generation is government subsidy in which the Thai government along with many governments across Asia firmly supports. Economically speaking, per kilowatt hour of electricity generation from renewable, including solar, is still more expensive than fossil fuel. And that's why government subsidy is quite necessary to make that economically feasible. And in, uh, across the world, we can see in Europe especially, the subsidies have exist and that have pushed the uh, total number of projects up higher. And in this part of uh, Asia, Korea, Japan, and in Southeast Asia, Thailand, and uh, Philippines shortly, will have subsidy that allow large-scale solar projects to happen. And in the long term, the subsidy will uh, slowly reduce as the economic of the project and the cost of technology come down. While conceding that the business outlook for a project of this size is certainly a challenge, the managing director of natural energy development company, Pek Kam Kanit, is optimistic about the overall future of the plan and of solar energy in Thailand. This is the largest solar project of its kind. It's the largest thin film solar project in the world. So I think people are committed to make this project a viable one. I think also we have support from a CDM mechanism. Uh, we we are committed to divest or sell our CDM to ADB, um, half of all our CDM. So with all that component, we hope that this project be a viable project. And again, this is the renewable energy source. So it's largely depend on if the sun would shine, um, how much the sun would shine in the future. With the combination of technological innovation, government commitment and business acuteness, the solar farm in Lopuri is an example of how the development of clean energy can be pursued in the future. I'm Panu Wong Shaum of Thai News Agency, reporting for RCN TV. Well, thank you, Kun Panu. And before we conclude the program, do check out our graphics. It will tell you the exchange rates and gold and oil prices. I'm Akanit Wichian Thanks for tuning into RCN TV and see you next time. สวัสดีครับ